Hi friends, happy Thursday. Okay, sorry. I was dealing with a servo, uh, person here looking at our house for some work, service work to be done under our house. So I got a little discombobulated. All right, welcome to my channel. My name is Jana and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And we're going to make a fun ice cream cone card today. And I'm using the ice cream swirl stamp and die set. Look at these fun dies. And the paper I'm using, I want to talk a little bit about this because I um, played with this set way back um, at the beginning of the current catalog. And haven't really played with it much since but this is the lay shops uh, designer series paper and it's on sale and that's what i wanted to let you know this paper right now is on sale for six dollars and 25 cents and it's so cute because you can cut out all of these shops um i really like the designs on the back of these papers as well um, but look how cute this one is, and this is the one I'm going to use today. I just think these papers got kind of overlooked. And this one has the shops in really little tiny prints, so that would be very cute for the background of a card. And then it's got almost like a blueprint sort of look on the back of that page. Um, if you haven't checked out the sale yet of retiring products, you might want to do that because some of them have some really great um, prices. This is more shops, but different than the first page. Very cute. And I love this design here on this paper and the colors. And there's more shops, so you could create a whole little uh, street <laughs> of shops. But yeah, it's just fun paper. And this one's got books and tubes of ink and flowers. And that is what the back of that looks like. So $6.25, you get 12 sheets of 12 by 12 paper. Yeah, so using that. And let's see what else am I using. Um, the Scalloped Contours dies. You know this has been a big favorite of mine. And there is a coordinating stamp set. Um, these dies are retiring also, which is very sad. I will continue to use them because I absolutely love them. There's this one that does a nice border. And then all these fun rectangles here with scalloped edges. This one is on sale for $24.50. It was $30 some dollars for this set, but there's a lot of dies in there. These two cut out designs from the stamp set, but if you just wanted the dies, you know, you could just, I mean, the dies and not the stamps that coordinate, you could just ignore these <laughs> or draw in some flowers that they could cut out, whatever. But, I mean, it's worth it just for these right here. But, yeah, be sure to check out um, what other things are on sale. Um, the, the sale does go to the end of the month. Of course, as soon as things are sold out, they're gone. So, anyway, let's get started. All right. So, I've got all my little parts and pieces. Okay, so I am doing a Daffodil Delight card base. And it is four and a quarter by five and a half. Let me grab my own folder here. Where is it? Oh, right here. It was laying too close to me and I didn't see it. Okay, so there is that. But we need to do some stamping first before we get too carried away with things. So I have a piece of um, 
balmy blue and a piece of very vanilla. And I'm just going to bring in my Misty here. And I think we'll do the, the cone first. This is such a fun set. You don't even need the stamps to make an ice cream cone um, because you can do it all with the dies. And this makes a cute folded cone here. All right, so here is the cone. I'm going to ink it up with petal pink. I know that sounds weird, but it works. Okay. Just ink that one little bit there. I think the person might still be in the driveway, so Todd is barking if you can hear him. All right, we're going to go with that, the cone. Let me get a baby wipe. there and I better close this ink pad up before I drop something into it. And I'll pull out the ice cream. And I'm actually going to let's see do I want to do it on this? Um yes I am going to we're going to have a blue ice cream because in the um, patterned paper, see, there's a blue ice cream. So we're gonna do a blue ice cream. I'll just bring in my balmy blue here. Okay, we're gonna go right with that. That looks pretty good. Gosh, we have some sunshine today, which is lovely. Really ready for some nicer weather. I mean, it was like 38, 39 degrees overnight the other night here. So just ready for a little bit warmer weather. Okay, so I've got my balmy blue and I have this one, which is number 900, SU 900 for the ice cream cone. So I'm not going to do a whole lot here to this. Can you see okay? I'm just going to do sort of a little bit of um, color on here just to give it a little bit of shading. And this will soften up as it dries. going to kind of give it a little bit of a watercolor look. Just a tad bit. Okay. 
Oh, sorry about the barking if you can hear Todd. He's not happy because that person is still here. All right, so that is all I'm going to do to the cone part. And the ice cream, let's see here. I think I will with, let's just see what the light, oh, that adds a lot of color. So I know that the dark balmy blue, yeah, that might be too dark. Um, I think I'm just going to go with the light. We'll see as this dries how it ends up. remember if I've ever had blue ice cream around here the ice cream parlors usually blue is I'm thinking bubble gum and has chunks of bubble gum in it which I mean if you're eating of course usually kids order that right <laughs> but if you're eating ice cream cone and getting chunks of bubble gum balls in your mouth. How do you chew bubble gum and eat ice cream at the same time? I don't know. There might be blue raspberry too. I'm not positive, but I'm kind of thinking I've not had blue ice cream, but I've definitely seen blue ice cream. My mom's favorite when we um, would go to Baskin and Robbins, if you have those where you live, was Cherry's Jubilee. And it was a yummy ice cream. It had like the full size cherries or cherry halves in it. Very tasty. Okay, so there is that and as you can see as it dries it lightens up quite a bit I'm wanting something for shading and I don't think I want to use well the same color might work okay but that's not really let me see what I've got this um come on I just want to do a little bit of shading, and I don't think my colorless blender will work, but I'm going to grab it just to see real quick. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it doesn't really do anything, so that's not what I want. I think my I think I need to order a new one of these. The, the small side is wet. The other side is not. Do I have another one? Oh, I think I do. But I'm afraid when it dries, it's just going to since it's colorless, it's not it, yeah, it's just going to fade into the paper. I didn't use this color on my first card, so that's why I'm experimenting. Let me see what this one does. Oh yeah, that's even darker. All right, well, here's what we're gonna do. We are just gonna go ahead and use the light balmy blue, and I'm just going to Come in here and do a little bit of shading. 
nothing uh, extravagant, just kind of in the creases of the swirls. And like I say, it's all going to be fine. As it dries, it will just be fine. It's ice cream. And my shaky hands. Okay. I think what I might do is come in. Let's just do it now. I'm going to put some Wink of Stella in the lighter. My Wink of Stella is also not too juicy. And I think that it's been unorderable for a while just because they've been having trouble getting it. I'm definitely ready for a new one. I'm kind of liking how this is making it look. If I've got enough in here to work. If not, I have another option. There's not a lot of, I'm holding it up to the light. There's still some in there. I can see it in the tube. Let me just squeeze a little bit harder and see if I can get it. Here we go. Just wasn't squeezing hard enough. Now it's coming out better. Yeah, I like that added sparkle anyway. That looks pretty. I'm not sure if it's even showing up. Let me look on my iPad. I guess you can kind of see it. I don't know if the darkness is the only thing showing up and not the sparkle, but it's definitely laying down quite a bit of sparkle. And then that will just look a little bit better as it dries. Okay, that is cute. I like that. And let's just get the dies and get these cut out. Hi, Rosie. Okay, so as you can see, this cuts out two pieces of the cone with a fold in the middle. So it makes a little folded card but we can also just use the one side of it to cut out the cone here. I was 
looking at uh, Walmart, the Walmarche, the other day when I was there for a new roll of my post-it tape that I like to use. And the Walmart that I was in, which was in another town, didn't have it. So I'm hoping that it's still available. My one roll of it has lasted me a long time. Okay, I'm gonna run these through my machine and I'll be right back. go. Uh-oh. Let me put it back in. It didn't cut the bottom. I must not have had my plate laying quite right. Oopsie. All right, that got it. So then all we need to do is just snip this off. And then I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the back of this to make our ice cream cone. And I need to bring it down. It's going to overlap the top of the cone. Whoever was scooping up this ice cream was very generous. Okay. Because otherwise it won't fit on the card. Cute. It's a blue ice cream. Can you see the glitzy from the... Stella. All right, so there is that ready to go. And now I need to, we're going to do a little heat embossing on this piece. So I'm just going to use my embossing buddy here to wipe off any fingerprints that might be on there. I've got my Versamark pad here and loaded up on the block I have Make a Wish from the stamp set, which is right here. So you've got Make a Wish, thanks for everything. Hope your day is sweet and yum yum. And I'm just going to emboss this with white embossing powder. Okay, so 
snip that off of there and I'm just gonna set that to the side there for a minute and we can work on the card base. Let's start with the inside. So I cut a, one of the little blue ice cream cones off of the paper and I'm just gonna fussy cut this out real quick to have a little decoration for the inside of the card. When I'm done with this card, I will show you the other one I made. So just put a little bit of glue on this. There we go. And then I will stamp something on this before I give it to whoever it's gonna go to. Okay, so I have a layer of black here that I'm gonna put on and it is four by five and a quarter. So really a very simple card, but fun. So there we go with that. And then I've got this adorable paper here and I'm gonna use, where'd my dies go? Here they are. I'm gonna use the largest die from the scallop contours. Okay, let me run this through. I'll be right back. I'm going to pull this off over my garbage can over here so hopefully I can catch all those little pieces in the scallop. <laughs> all right, there we go. So cute. All right. This just fits very nicely on there. Okay, and then our ice cream cone, I'm gonna pop up.
I don't like my things sagging in the middle, so I'm not too um, conservative with my <laughs> dimensionals. Especially if you're popping something up that's a little bit bigger. Did I get them all? Yep. Yeah. Okay, let's fit this in the middle. And this is kind of easy to um, find the middle because of the scallops there. There we go. Okay, now my words, I'm gonna cut these apart. Let me cut these sides off here to help it help me out a little bit. And I probably should take a tissue and wipe off that excess powder while I still have them together. Okay. Get my glue back. Well, I have to say I'm kind of happy with the way the blue ice cream turned out. Still need to put some sprinkles on it. Now, I could have definitely left these all stuck together, but I just didn't want one big chunky piece of um, black cardstock. So that's why I decided to cut them apart. Kind of makes it look like large um, pieces of label. <laughs> I like to use my label maker sometimes to do sentiments with also. Okay, make a wish. And then I've got these opaque faceted gems. I think these were from the Celebration catalog when that was going on. And you see how it has the little orangey colored sprinkles there. That's what I'm going to do here is just put a few of these on here and then it will sort of all coordinate with the paper. And we'll just do an odd number of them here. There we go. Now you could get crazy and put way more than that, but I'm just going to be happy with that. And that is our card. Make a wish. Very simple, very cute. 
here's the other one I did because the paper had blue ice cream cones and then the orange or more peachy orangey ones like that color. So I did one of each and they have the opposite color of sprinkles on them. All right, story time. Still reading from the Artistic Cat Praise Poems and Paintings. And it's um, National Pet Day today, so this is appropriate. Bless their little pointed faces and their big, loyal, loving hearts. If a cat did not put a firm paw down now and then, how could his human remain possessed? And that's by Winifred Carrier, American writer. When I'm discouraged, he's empathy incarnate, purring and rubbing to telegraph his dismay by Katherine Jacobson. Perhaps it is because cats do not live by human patterns, do not fit themselves into prescribed behavior, that they are so united to creative people. Andre Norton. And then here is a paint. Well, it doesn't really look like a painting. That looks like that, um, what is it they do with the, the scraper tools, almost like when you're doing a rubber stamp. I can't think of what that's called. That's what that looks like to me. But it's called Feline Fantasy by Enid Marks. A cat improves the garden wall in sunshine and the hearth in foul weather. Judith Merkel Riley. And then this one is called Cat on a Windowsill by Joan Freestone. Very cute. There are two means of refuge from the miseries of life, music and cats, by Albert Schweitzer. In these days of tension, human beings can learn a great deal about relaxation from watching a cat who doesn't just lie down when it is time to rest, but pours his body on the floor and rests in every nerve and muscle. Murray Robinson. And I think we will stop with that one for today. Well, I hope you guys like this little ice cream card. And please be sure, if you're interested, to go um, check out that sale again. It's going through the end of the month. Um, and if you don't, if you find something you want to buy and you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I will put the link in my um, description box below, okay? So have a great rest of the week, and I will just see you in my next video. Take care. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.